Here is 1955 Lincoln Cent NPR 69 Deep Cameo Condition. Shown is a truly memorable coin in proof Lincoln Cent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery field support set in design elements, the entire package smooth in hand and virtually pristine. The proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade, and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the Proof Lincoln series. This rare specimen was sold for $50,400. 1942 Washington Quarter in number 66 plus condition. CAC proven superb gem with double die reverse. According to the cherry picker's guide, the doubling on this variety is most prominent on the eagle's beak and the, the arrows and the branch above the mint mark. A well struck premium gem with bold satin luster and light silver gray gold and speckled russet patina. The surfaces are clean and mark free. It ended up selling for $8,225. 1950 Washington Quarter with D over S repunched mint mark, graded in mint state 64 by PCGS. The D over S variety specifically refers to a case where the Denver mint mark was initially punched over a San Francisco mint mark. These kinds of errors are intriguing to collectors because they represent a mistaken minting process and are relatively uncommon. The rarity and value of the coin will depend on factors such as the severity of repunching, the overall condition of the coin, and the demand from collectors. This gem was sold for $3,825 with buyer's fee. 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to Stax Powers, direct lighting calls for multicolored iridescent toning that provides outstanding visual appeal. Uncommonly full in strike with exceptional surface preservation as well, this low pop rarity is sure to please. Sold for $4,800. Here is 1972 Lincoln Cent with double die of verse graded in mint state 66 plus read by PCGS. The 1972 double die of verse Lincoln Cent is very popular among collectors. The coins have quite a large spread on the doubling, which is quite evident throughout the mottos and the Dayton of verse. While not quite as dramatic as 1955 DDO, this coin still commands a healthy premium. It was sold for $2165.62 with buyer's fee. This is 1952S Roosevelt Diamond MS69 condition. Best in a vivid mint set toning, both sides exhibit rich crimson copper and orange russet peripheral colors around the lighter old silver centers. All areas are equally smooth with not even a single trivial blemish as in evidence. It was sold for $5,750. This is 1916 D Mercury Dime with outstanding toning graded as MS66 FB by NGC. The star designation. A richly toned, sharply struck and impressively lustrous gem. Example of the most important dime issues of the 20th century. A date that saw a production run of just 264,000 pieces. Both sides of this colorful gem are splashed throughout with lively rose, fiery crimson, neon blue, and deep sunset orange iridescence. The pristine surfaces are essentially mark free, even under low magnification. It was sold for $45,237.50. This is 1964 D. Washington Quarter with Type C reverse aka reverse of 1965 graded in mint state 66 plus by pcgs and the grade proven by cac with intense mint luster in smooth satiny finish otherwise untoned both sides are ringed in partial halos of iridescent reddish gold that deliver strong eye appeal at 704,135,528 coins struck the 1964 d has the highest mintage in the washington quarter series up to that point in the time. Upper end gems are surprisingly scarce. This one ended up selling for $8,400. And this is 1964 Kennedy of Dollar from Special Mint Set. In January 1964, the first GFK halves were struck, amounting to a total production of over 429 million circulation strikes between Philadelphia and Denver and nearly 4 million proofs. Somewhere along the line, about a dozen specimen strikings were produced. 
These are clearly different in style to either of those struck for circulation or proofs. The devices on these specimens are sharply struck with exceptionally bold definition in the hair and the rims are high up and fully squared. The fields show extensive dye polishing marks in the reverse fields. The obverse details include a small tie of the crossbar of the four, a feature that has never been observed on any other 1964 half dollar. This true rarity in SP67 plus grade was sold for $99,875. This is 1995 Lincoln Centenum 69 red condition. Extraordinary specimen with immaculate surface preservation, luster, and eye appeal. A 1995 Lincoln Cent graded as MS69 is a high grade cone that's almost perfect in terms of condition. However, whether it's considered rare and valuable depends on a few factors. An MS69 grade indicates that the coin is virtually flawless under close examination but falls just short of the highest grade, MS70. Coins graded as MS69 are highly sought after by collectors due to their excellent condition but they are not extremely rare. Nevertheless, this specimen was sold for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee. 1951 S. Roosevelt time in MS68 condition with full bands. A booming luster accentuates a sunset orange and deep green toning at the right of words and reverse rims. As expected for the FB designation, all details on both sides are fully rendered from an exacting strike from the dice. It was sold for $2,585. This is 1961 Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. In addition to virtually pristine surfaces, this coin displays beautiful multicolored peripheral toning that is bolder and more extensive on the obverse. The left obverse border exhibits intense charcoal blue, brick red, and antique gold, razor sharp striking detail, and bountiful mint luster add to the appeal. It is difficult to imagine a nicer survivor of this issue. It was sold for $8,400. 1952 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS66 plus condition with full steps. San Francisco issues tended to have lower mintage than their Denver and Philadelphia mint counterparts in the late 1940s and early to mid 1950s, and the S mint coins are harder to locate in high grades such as this one. This is a sharply struck premium gem nickel with vibrant luster and attractive gold and silver toning. It was sold for $8,812.50. 1937 Double Diverse Washington Quarter, graded in mean stage 66 by PCGS, a stellar example of this rare and desirable Double Diverse variety, with satiny luster basing the fields and devices toned with a hint of yellow haze. Examination of the surfaces will find a little evidence of contact, and this will be a great coin, where it simply is a usual obverse die, but this is a dramatically doubled obverse. Not a doubling on the motto and the date, which is clear with a magnifier. It was sold for $17,825.